Welcome to Right On The Mark with your host, Mark Young. Today, we're going bananas. That's right, I'm about to show you my big <laughs> Right here. So today we're making a frozen banana cocktail. That's right folks, it doesn't get any better than this. I got all the ingredients I need to make this concoction and I'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy. That's right. So welcome back to my channel and my drink of the week. As you can see, I got a plethora of drinks here. I want to go over the ingredients as we can because this is a pretty complicated drink as you can see. You know what I mean? You might have to Google how to make this. So this will be a top frozen style banana. Uh, basically a dirty banana, which where the Kahlua comes in. So that's what makes it dirty. So get your minds out of the gutter, especially my neighbor, Deneen. But anyway, let's go ahead and get with the ingredients. So we're going to have some rum. We're going to have some Kahlua. We're going to have some banana liqueur. We're going to have some Kuzan rum to top it off. We have some other toppings to put on it. And it's going to be a lot of fun. We have some heavy cream that you want to add to get that right texture on it. You want to make sure that it's creamy and smooth for the summer months coming up because you don't want your drink to get cold. That's right. We're going to blend it. We're going to have some fun. We're going to peel my banana and we're going to see what it's like. So let's go ahead and get started. So first things first, you're going to want to add ice to your blender glass right here. So I'm using a Ninja style, but you could use a Cuisinart, you could use a uh, Margaritaville maker, you could use whatever you want, but I want to fill up a parfait glass of a frozen banana, dirty frozen banana, and you're going to like it. That's right. So add the ice first, and then you're going to come behind that with the hard stuff. So we're going to do a jigger of plain rum here. Now, if you had Jamaican rum, if you had dark rum, if you had... Uh, any other kind of rum you could use but I just have some plain rum because I have all the flavors coming behind this so let's go ahead and pour this you know I am a banana guy so that's what inspired me to make this dirty banana drink because I love bananas I love banana cream pie I like anything bananas in fact you could say one New Year's Eve I was banana man I don't know but that's what they tell me <laughs> All right, so we're one Bacardi rum in. We're gonna come behind that with a half a jigger of Kahlua. This kind of gets it a little dirty right here. So we'll flip it over and we'll do a half a jigger of the Kahlua. Pour that in right there. Come behind that with some banana liqueur. Now, if you had some other uh, drinks like this might be a little too overpowering for for most folks, but for me I'm a banana guy So I like banana liqueur plus a banana. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit this with a half a jigger of banana liqueur Pour that right in there We definitely gonna want to hit it with some 151 But only a half a jigger of that because we got all kind of flavors going on here folks. Let me tell you oh. Just lost my cap, but that's how it goes. We're live, folks. Do it live! We're doing it live, that's right. Or so-called live. So we got that, we got all the mixture in here that we need. Kinda looks like a Coca-Cola. But anyway, we gotta pour some cream in here. A half a cup, as a matter of fact. So we're gonna measure a half a cup. You can see the markings on the front. We'll go ahead and pour that up. Half a cup is four ounces. We're right about there. Now you could use uh, milk, heavy whipping cream, uh, something smooth, something thick. It doesn't really matter, you know, do you. That's what I like to say, do you, because you're the one drinking it, so why not make it? Now you could freeze your banana or you could have it just regular just like room temperature. This happens to be frozen. I got this out of the freezer, but I think it's melted because it's kind of warm in here. So we're gonna go ahead and peel my banana. Look at that. Peel all that. Now you don't have to use the whole banana. You could use like three fourths of it. Just break it off and drop it in there. <laughs> 
Look at that, folks. Drop your banana in there, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna blend her up. We're gonna go ahead and get started. So you're gonna wanna cap your blender just like that. And you're gonna wanna puree it. Now, some people like to chop it. Some people like to slap chop. You're gonna love my nuts. Puree it. Some people wanna whopper chopper it. You folks that watch Sanford and Son, you know what I'm talking about, the whopper chopper. But anyway, let's go ahead and put this on the Ninja. Make sure the lid's screwed on tight. It's gonna be loud. Turn it on, and we're gonna make a smoothie out of it. So no matter what buttons you have, you just wanna make sure it gets blended really well before you pour it in your parfait glass. That's right. So let's go ahead. You wanna blend it for probably 10 to 15 seconds. There you go. Or five seconds. The Ninja's pretty powerful. That's right. So you just take that off, and there you have your frozen paradise. That's right. Frozen dirty banana. Now every time I make this, I'm reminded of the big banana on 88. So you all know what I'm talking about. Kathleen, Margaret Mary, Joe, Hefty, Ricky. You all know what this is. Jimbo, you know where the big banana is. It used to be Kitty. Hey, Kitty, what's up, Kitty? Kitty, I used to work at 84 Produce, which was the big banana. So hey, let's go ahead and have fun with it. So let's go ahead and pour it in our par Oh, very important part is you're gonna to wanna to layer it with some chocolate sauce. Now this is optional. You could layer it at the bottom and you could spin it around the top edges like that. If you're having folks over for Memorial Day, if you're having folks over for some summer swim parties, you're gonna to wanna to serve them a dirty banana. So let's go ahead and pour this in. Got a little extra, but that's okay. So as you could see, your dirty banana. Pretty nice. So I like to decorate it. It calls for some whipping cream. Ooh, let me have some of that cool whip. And a cherry. Just like that. So hey, if you're having a drink like this and you're in Myrtle Beach, uh, Hilton Head, Ocean City, Wildwood, New Jersey, wherever you may be, ask for this by name. I'm sure they'll do you right, for sure. I'm a cherry guy, so let's go ahead and put a cherry on top, just like that. That looks pretty good, folks. Oh, you got a cherry down. Throw your straw in there, and there you have it. Your dirty banana. Frozen style. That's right. So let's do it going in. Oh man, this is going to be fantastic. I can smell the bananas already. Mmm. The texture is just right correct creaminess. Uh, I could taste the 151, all the banana liqueur. It's a rum drink. You definitely want rum when you're by the pool. Wow. Mmm. I've never been any more pleased than I am right now. And that's a big bingo, baby. That's right. This will take you to the promised land. Stick to the program. I'll get you where you need to go. That's a guarantee from right on the mark. All the ingredients will be listed below along with uh, directions on how to make it. Anything you want to do, uh, have fun with it. I put a bunch of stuff in there. If you Google it, it's, it'll tell you different things. But from what I gather right here, these are the main ingredients. Have fun with your bananas as usual because I'm a banana man. Who doesn't love Remember Banana Splits, the cartoon? Oh, I love that. They would come down as huge slide. All right, I'm kind of getting off track. But anyway, folks, don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap that bell so you don't miss any of this, any frozen concoctionness. Summer's coming up, winter's behind us. It's going to get crazy here. We're getting some crazy drinks going on. I know you'll enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy it. So let's have some fun. Wow. So that about wraps it up for Right on the Mark with your host, Mark Young. See you next time, folks.
Wow, that's fantastic. Oh man, the lovely Kim didn't have a flat tire. This would be fantastic. 